relatively large fruited, thick fleshed, um, usually fairly mild, and and you you use them to add not just heat, but to add bulk to a dish. They become part of that dish. They're a noticeable part of that dish. So you fry them, you use them in salads, you can stuff, stuff them. them. They're fantastic. Hungarian hot wax, and I love this one. It is without doubt one of the easiest chili. You've mentioned this. I think it is early. it's a wonderful one to grow. You get jalapeno. This is one called Drakey's. This is a Charleston. For me, spike stite chilies are the small fruited Demon varieties. Red. Yeah. Demon Red, Rooster Spur. Where you've got masses of uh, tiny chilies, it's perfect for a pestle and mortar sort of approach to making a chili paste. But that's probably got 400 to 700 Scoville heat units. That's going to be really low. This one, on a good summer, will have a million. But then there are other varieties that give you specific chilies for specific recipes. And what I would like to see change in this country is the notion of heat being the only attribute of the chili. Take out the seeds, and sometimes they tell you to take out the pith. I Really, what's the point of cooking with chilies if you're going to go through that trouble to reduce the heat levels? Just use a half a chili. I've got a couple of Mexican cookbooks at home, and they don't say red chili, hot chili. They say chili by name for that recipe. We as a seed company have been trying to promote chilies as, as an eating experience. There's a reason for growing chilies and eating them, and that's to enhance flavors.